Damn it. I'm trying to get ready to get myself to the station, to get myself to London. And we've just had a power cut. Luckily it didn't happen while I was in the shower and like with a head covered in shampoo or anything. It did wait for me to get out of the shower, which I'm grateful for. But now like I need to get ready and I can't see anything. Oh, and I also need a cup of coffee. I might have to go out to Myrtle and make one. Right, let's go see what the problem is. By the light of my trusty phone that is still working, um, they all look fine. Damn it. So thankfully Johnny's got up early to watch the rugby and he's managed to sort out the power so now I can actually get ready. Um, the house is in chaos, you know what it's like when you're going away and there's just stuff everywhere. So today me and my best friend Liz are off to London. That's the cat wanting to go out, except she really doesn't want to go out because there's the biggest storm going on outside right now. Anyway, we're off to London because I have to record the voiceover for the TV show, which is really exciting. Me and Liz have been working on it for the last, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks, writing the script for what to say between each clip in um, each episode, which is quite exciting. Also, I need to introduce you to Liz. Um, I don't think you've ever met her before and she's fabulous and I love her to bits and we've been mates since we were 10. We met primary school many, many years ago and she now works with me. She left a high-flying, high-powered career and she believes in me and um, is really excited about what's about to be happening for me so she's actually come to help me run my business, run my life, um, just kind of keep me on the straight and narrow really. Good luck with that one Liz. So we're going to catch the train up to London from Plymouth in a couple of hours time so I need to get the rest of this stuff packed up. We've just landed in our premiere inn for the next couple of days, which is all very nice. Let's just see what our view looks like. Ah, oh, lovely grey, rainy rooftops. Lovely. Good morning! We are here. Hi Lizzie! Hi! <laughs> we have just had a relatively okay night in our premiere inn in Wandsworth in London. And we're just off for breakfast now. And then we've got to head off to the studio where we're going to crack on <gasps> with the voiceover for today's show, which is quite nerve wracking. So let's go get some breakfast and then let's have a wander around London. Oh, oh you need to come and do that with me. <laughs> so we finally arrived we're at the planet eat studios in wandsworth in london i've just met tony tony is the director and the producer he's the guy that's been in charge of filming hedgecomber's kitchen tv show and we're just having a quick coffee and then we're going to set up and we're going to start watching back episodes one to six and then i'm going to do the voiceover part so let me show you around the studio it's such a cool space Okay, so in through the foyer part, we've got a little storage space in here with kit, 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 kit. We've got lots of like kitchen stuff, ovens and all sorts of things. There's a little studio space in here. With some very cool artwork, very awesome. And then in here, we have a fake kitchen with all the gear, like all the gear. This is Tony. Hi Tony. Hello. We don't normally see you at this side of the camera, do we? <laughs> more fridge space. There's Liz looking gorgeous. And more fabulous artwork and more kitchen stuff and more office space. Very cool. And it's early on a Sunday morning, so we're all getting a little bit caffeinated before we begin. <laughs> I'm a food writer. I create recipes and document my real food adventures over on my blog, hedgecomas.com. You can find me there or pretty much anywhere else on social media as Hedgecoma. Not only do I grow and forage food here on the farm, but I'm a huge supporter of the fantastic food producers here in my area. But more about that later. 
I just nailed my second one. Woo -woo. <laughs> So I urge you that when you come visit, you stop, take a breath, and sink into that feeling of utter relaxation. And then I have to pause. <laughs> I just had to do the voiceover bit for when we rehomed our rescue hens during the whole TV show thing, and uh, I couldn't stop crying. It was a bit embarrassing, really. Had a bit of a meltdown, had a quick coffee break, and <clears throat> finally got through it. <laughs> is a big smile. What, what? What's all the excitement about? Well, I might have just recorded the voiceover for <coughs> Head to Come's Kitchen, my TV show. Woohoo! I know, I'm so excited. How it, did it go? It was amazing, it was amazing. It really feels like, even though I've been working on this for months, actually for over a year, this yeah. has been kind of happening, but it actually now really feels like it's like real this shit is actually happening <laughs> and it feels really amazing and seeing the footage and obviously for you guys that have never really properly met Liz apart from in this video she's a very very clever sausage and together writing this voiceover script and bringing the whole story together and that whole thing about promoting Cornwall and promoting real food and the whole thing that I do and it's just it's perfect it's going to be so beautiful when it's done. What's your favourite part of the TV show? Oh, 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 oh my God. Or the whole process? I'm look the process part, I'm looking forward to you guys seeing it, to like getting feedback from, like when it's done, when it's shiny and polished. I'm yeah. really looking forward to the feedback. Yeah. The favourite part of, oh my God, there's a really cute puppy walking by. <laughs> so cute, does he look, look, look. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh my god, you're so cute. Oh, he is so cute. Um, <laughs> um, 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 I, I really like the bit where, oh, okay, so I'm gonna like tell you what's going on. This is like, I'm gonna break the secret here. But there's one episode that we hang out in Lou, which obviously is my nearest yes. town. And, like, obviously, I'm, we oh, went to actually, school there. And Paul Perro, that one's really cool too. I actually cried when I had to first read out the voiceover for the Paul Perro bit, which is where me and Lizzie met 100 years ago when we were little and like where all my stuff happened when I was a kid and whatever. I actually got a bit emotional for the Paul Perro bit. But this one particular part of the Lou episode was when I was out on a boat with um, Dave. Dave Haynes, Blackadder, he's the guy that runs the RNLI station, the, the lifeboat station down in Lou, and he also, I first met him when I went out mackerel fishing with him, and we went, we go out mackerel fishing with him in the show, and spoiler alert, we don't actually catch any <laughs> mackerel. And it was just, it, the whole thing was just very funny. He's brilliant, I love you Dave, and it was, yeah. I think that's gonna make some good TV. <laughs> <laughs> so how pleased are you that your bit's now done? Oh my God, so pleased. It's really exhausting all this making a TV show stuff. I don't think I had any idea actually what would be involved, but yes, I'm very glad my part's done. Well, this my part of making the actual show, now of course we actually have to get people to watch it. So if we can rope any of you in to please tell your friends when it's out. Please share the link with them. Obviously it's free to watch. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can watch it. And we'd really appreciate you all tuning in. Thank you. <laughs>
friends is a wrap. Thank you for hanging out with us in London. Um, oh my God, it was amazing. We had such a good time. I hope you kind of enjoyed a little insight into it all too. And I hope you're all excited about the show. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I'm ever so excited now. It's not gonna be long, I think, before ah, I have a TV show like out there in the world. Let's go to Johnny. Say hi, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. <laughs> Eyes on the road. Eyes on the prize, honey. Eyes on the prize. So thank you again for hanging out with me today and I will catch up with you real soon. Until then, over and out.